Alright, so this is problem set 10, number 9. PB set 10. So number 9 says, A horizontal spring with spring constant 100 newtons per meter is compressed 20 centimeters and used to launch a 2.5 kilogram box across a frictionless horizontal surface. After the box travels some distance, the surface becomes rough. The coefficient of kinetic friction of the box on the surface is 0.15. Use work and energy to find how far the box slides across the rough surface before stopping. Alright, so essentially you have uh, the box, so we can draw that because the box was pushed against a spring it compressed the spring so in that in that um, moment you you're more or less um uh storing energy in the spring so in the form of potential energy so the potential energy stored on the spring us is one half k delta x squared so how delta x is how much the spring was compressed in the or stretch, but in this case it's compressed. So that's the amount of energy you you have initially. So this energy is gonna convert to so u s is gonna be converted into kinetic energy when because when you release the when you stop compressing on the box and you you you're gonna release the spring and the spring's gonna push the box forward so then this potential energy that was stored will convert to kinetic energy so it'll be one half k v uh sorry one half one half m v square so one half m v square all right and then but then um in this uh but then we know that the box will be moving along a rough surface eventually initially it'll it may be it's smooth and there's no friction but then it'll, it'll go through a rough surface and then there'll be kinetic friction kinetic friction pointing to opposite to the velocity of the box because the box is moving in like this with this velocity so then the friction will do work on the box and it'll be negative work so because the displacement of the box will be will be like this will be some delta x like that this is a delta x and the and the and the friction is opposite to that, so the dark part will be negative because the angle will be one eighty, right? Uh, so then we can just look at the magnitude because we know that all that all that energy, this conservation of energy, will go from take from the that kinetic to Essentially, heat and sound and non-conservative uh, entropy, more or less. They're just gonna go into heat, pretty much. So then we will, we know all of that will go because eventually the box will stop. It'll stop moving, so it's moving, and then there's no movement. So we we just want to look at the magnitudes and equal them to each other. We know all that and it will go from this to that and then finally the work done by the friction is the changing heat energy. So the work done by friction will be Fk dotted with uh, delta x and you'll, the cosine will be 180, cosine 180, but because we're looking just at magnitudes, we just want the magnitude like that. 
So then we have to figure out what fk is. So fk is mu k mg and then delta x. Oh, and uh, and because there's two delta x's, let's call this one delta x2. And this delta x1, that compressed spring. Delta x1. So in we were interested in, in, in this delta x2 as it is how how far uh, does the backslide across the rough surface? So then we just want to equal this this one and this one. We know this happens, but we 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 want to skip steps and they're unnecessary so that we because we're looking for this. So then we have that one half k delta x two, uh, one squared equals mu k mg delta x2 so then we just solve for delta x2 so then delta x2 we just divide by these two both sides then delta x2 is going to equal one half k delta x1 over mg uh, mu k mg so, so delta x2 may equal one half k is 100 newtons per meter and then and then uh, delta x1 is 20 centimeters which is 0.20 meters and then you're squaring that sorry it's disappearing for some reason All right. Uh, and then over mu k, which is 0 0.15, then the mass is 2.5 kilograms, and then n and then g, g is 9.81. So at the end, then when you do the calculator, delta x2 is gonna equal essentially 0 0.54 meters all right